Hi, welcome back to my kitchen. What I've made today are ice cream sandwiches. I've made them and I've rolled them around in pecans or chocolate. And actually my favorite are plain, but I always think, what's the point of making a plain, a plain ice cream sandwich really? You can really make them with butter pecan ice cream or mint chocolate chip or my sister's favorite White House cherry. That's the nice thing about knowing how to do this technique. So I'm just going to show you the way I do it, and then you can really do this with any ice cream you like or any peanuts, any other thing you can roll it around in, the little jimmies. I have real chocolate on here that's really good. And here you can really use good ice cream. There's a lot of different grades of ice cream out there, so you can use your favorite Ben & Jerry's or something like that and make fabulous sandwiches. I'm going to wrap them up and I'll have them. I have people over all the time on the weekends for dinner and these will make my I know my brother-in-law loves plain ice cream and dark chocolate so sometimes simple is best but you can do whatever you like so I'll be back in a moment to get started what I've done here is I've moved everything on the bottom part of my freezer because we're going to you know be sliding this in as soon as possible after we make them so the, so the ice cream isn't going to melt to get started making these sandwiches, I've bought these famous chocolate cookies. They're wonderful. They're very, very chocolatey and they're crunchy. Or really, you can use any cookie you want. You bake, it, you bake a cookie, you can use that. If you get the chocolate chip cookies at the grocery store, you can use those. Any cookie that you want. A peanut butter cookie would be awesome with chocolate ice cream or butter pecan ice cream or pumpkin. Oh, that would, there's so many different things you can do. I'm just going to lay some out here just to get ready because once your ice cream really starts to... Now, there's two sides to the cookie. There's the flatter side that was on the cookie tray when it was baking than the rounder side that puffed up. You want to put the ice cream on the flat side. Here I'm chopping chocolate. This is very, very good chocolate. And this is one of the nice things, okay, about making your own ice cream sandwiches. Otherwise, what would be really the point? Okay, you can buy them just as well. Although also you can control the type of ice cream that you use. But here I'm just going to chop the chocolate pretty fine so I can roll the ice cream sandwiches in it. Sort of like Jimmy's. I'm just going to put the chopped chocolate onto a plate. So now I have pecans. These are whole pecans. I use them for our turtles during the holidays. We make chocolate turtles with these beautiful pecans. They don't have to be too fine as you really want. You can stick whole pecans on the side of your ice cream sandwich if you like. I don't think I would like that. So. In my freezer, I have a plate like this that's empty that as I make my sandwiches, because the ice cream needs to be soft when you scoop the ice cream out, so you really want to have something in your, in your freezer ready to place the ice cream sandwiches on. So this ice cream has been softened, okay? And I have, this is an ice cream scoop. It's not a big ice cream scoop, actually. It might be a little bit smaller than the regular one. So be careful, because my sandwiches are, my cookies are small. Now when you put the ice cream on the cookie, there's two sides to the cookie, which is sort of hard to tell, so it maybe doesn't matter for this cookie. But you want to put it on the side that the cookie was baked on on the, you know, the flatter side. So I have some laid out here and then I have some cookies here that are the other direction. They're just sort of waiting for me to put them right, the, the lid on, so I can put them right into the freezer. Okay, so go ahead and scoop a little ice cream. You don't need a ton. Okay, and put it on your cookie. This is a nice little scoop for this. And then take another cookie and carefully press it down. So don't pr sort of press it down so your whole hand is on that so it doesn't break the cookie. Take your cookie, put the ice cream in it, and roll it around in your nuts or in your chocolate or peanuts, whatever you've decided. 
and then just take your the ice cream sandwich you can roll it a little bit here just to press them in and put that in the fr in your freezer on your plate so it gets cool couldn't be simpler really the best time almost to make this is as soon as you get if you can prepare yourself as soon as you get home from the grocery store with your ice cream that's when your ice cream is like the perfect temperature for this. I always make ice cream balls for parties. Right when I get home, you know, it's the first thing I do. I don't even put the ice cream in the freezer because my freezer is so incredibly um, cold that I, then I sort of have to wait and wonder when it's the right temperature. This works really great. So I'll go ahead and set these in the freezer. I'm going to put these all downstairs in my in my deep freeze and then I'm going to show you how I wrap them. I probably could do it now but I'm just going to show you how I'm transferring them over because sometimes they stick so if you slide a knife under them all then it'll be better. I'm going to cover this with some some saran wrap and bring it down to my deep freeze. Let them really harden up and then I'm going to show you how I wrap them. This is wax paper And I'm just going to cut a piece a little bit bigger than the cookie because I don't want to have too much to fold over. So you put the cookie right where you know you're going to bring this over so it comes sort of to the end of the cookie. And then fold it nice and snug. Okay. So now when you're at this point, this part is coming down so in order to have a regular piece there without any paper loose just fold it here and then bring it to the edge of your table and you can to keep that down there you go you can have a little cookie and I put them into I put them all into a zippy bag I have some already here already done so I'm just going to put that in there as well the ice cream does melt if you have good ice cream and I'm sure that you do. The ice cream is going to melt very quickly, so you need to work around a freezer and just get everything all ready and then do it all at one time.